My friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion. We are taking our back road adventures through Pennsylvania and we are headed to Orwigsburg today. We are going to be exploring, hopefully, the training camp of Muhammad Ali for about a decade. He called it Fighter's Heaven. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. He lived here, he trained here. Someone bought it a couple of years ago and completely restored it to be exactly the way it was when he was staying up there, training up there, living up there, all the way down to where he used to pray. Warwigsburg, there we are. Here's our first sign, Fighter 7. Looks like it's technically Deer Lake, Pennsylvania. The guy who kind of runs it is opening it up for me today. Normally it's only open on Saturday and Sunday, but it's free. Kind of cool to know he would have ran up these hills and trained up here. Oh wow. This is going to be awesome. How cool is that? Muhammad Ali. Sonny Liston, that was his first championship fight. Then of course Joe Frazier. I love they have pictures of all the fighters too. Jerry Quarry, Gene Tunney, over here you have Float Like a Butterfly, Sting Like a Bee, Drew Bandini Brown, Louis Surya, well, Muhammad, Ali's trainers. This is going to be quite an experience. I couldn't believe that they were willing to open it up for me today, but they love sharing the history. The great Joe Lewis, who was champion for over 10 years. Ali's trainer, Angelo Dundee, the man who really truly believed in Cassius Clay. And then the great Rocky Marciano, another just unbelievable athlete Archie Moore how cool are these and there's a lot of historical photos of Ali up here at the camp that we'll show you Rocky Graziano Sugar Ray Robinson Willie Pep This one looks like it had one, and it's faded off. Or maybe he didn't want it there anymore, who knows. I don't know if you saw on the street sign that it said he used this camp from 73 to 91. Kid Gallivan, Floyd Patterson. All right. He said he has an hour to show me whatever we want to see. Oh look, a couple more legends. This is really cool. The great Jack Johnson. And Jersey Joe. Jersey Joe Walcott. You'd think he'd have his own name out here. So as we go in this building, get the water pump out front. This was Ali's. How cool, man. Considered the greatest boxer of all time. There's his bed. Now look at this. His business partner actually gave a bunch of photos to the owner of this place so that he could show exactly how it was set up. So that photo Shows Ali sitting on that bed right there with a trunk. And then that all 
also shows him on the bed. The same afghan. Even his boots are still on the floor. Then look over here at this mirror. Picture of Ali looking at himself in that mirror. Where he would have eaten his meals. The butterfly. <laughs> Did you see that? Then he's got some fan mail up here. You've got his heat source right there, pot belly stove. And then it looks like some photos of him using the sink over here. Oh, it's him laying on the bed. Pictures of him and Jim Brown doing the Rumble in the Jungle interview in here, right in front of there. So we'll match this one up right here. And then Ollie laying on the bed right there. That is pretty freaking cool. Free experience. Hardly anything in life is free anymore. And this looks like this would have been, yeah, just a closet. And then here is a picture of him leaning in his rocking chair right next to that stove. So it would have been just like that. I believe this is where the ring was. So as soon as we walk in, we've got his scale. Look, this is so cool. The massage table. Now look at him sitting right there on the couch in here. That would have been right there with different curtains. And actually, the picture on the wall would have been him sitting right beneath where this curtain is. So he would have actually been sitting right there in that photo. That is unbelievable. Look at that old fight gear. So neat. There he is again, sitting right there on that couch. Now take a look in here. That Kilroy's corner over there, that Kilroy was his business partner who helped provide a lot of the photos in here. Look at this. Young Cassius Clay, then Cassius X, then Muhammad Ali. Fight poster for Joe Frazier. First match he lost, and then the second one he won to regain the title. How cool. Right here in this gym, you can see the ring in the background. So, also oh, check that out. You can see even had the cardboard cutouts and those Life magazines that we just saw. Has them right there. So you would have been seeing him through the mirror. I can't believe I'm here. I actually, for many years, I was not a Muhammad Ali fan because I had seen the documentary about Joe Frazier and saw how much antagonizing he did. And I actually thought he was a pretty bad guy from there until I saw a documentary of interviews with Ali saying that he was just doing it to hype up the fight. It was nothing personal. So when I started to get into his headspace, I started to appreciate him a little bit more. So now that we've seen that picture, you get it. You can see where the cardboard cutout was and everything, and that they would have been taking pictures of him in the mirror. You can see the, out the outline of the mirror right there, the frame. So he'd be jumping rope right here with us. See? Let's go check out Muhammad Ali's bathroom. 
Nothing special. This place is just amazing. Look at that, the heavy bag. How cool is that? You, you almost never see somebody buy a place like this only to share it with fans, to not charge anything. I think they sell shirts and they accept donations, but look at this. Oh man. The spit bucket and everything. I am the greatest. I told you. I told you. He loved to rhyme. That's why I did the vlog in Louisville a couple of vlogs ago talking about his childhood because he got into the rhyming from seeing people in barbershops do it. Says, I always bring out the best in men I fight, but Joe Frazier, I'll tell the world right now, brings out the best in me. I'm gonna tell you, that's one hell of a man and God bless him. There's Joe Frazier out there with the rock. And then here's the Kilroy's corner I mentioned. They're honoring Gene Kilroy, who's in the picture right here, because he provided all of these photos. See, that this photo was taken when they would have had a bag right here by this window. They would have had it hanging right there. And then there he is in that robe that we saw in the other room. Muhammad Ali with Jackie Robinson. I'm just kind of working my way around the room. Picture of all the visitors out here that he had. You can see Tim Witherspoon. There he is reading Ring Magazine. This would have been right here in the ring. You can tell by the ceiling. And then of course, with Elvis. It says if you treated Ali right, he'd treat you right. And if you didn't treat him right, he'd still treat you right. That's just one reason why people love Ali. And then here you've got him out there by the Joe Lewis Rock. We still have the kitchen to see, the mosque, and uh, I think the chalet, they said. There he's with his wife. We're actually gonna see that. That's right outside the mosque. There he is with Mike Tyson. There he is here outside the building with his trainer, Angelo Dundee. Right here doing a demonstration for the press in this room from the ring. There he is with John Madden. And coming in, you can see the Jack Johnson rock. So that would back, be back there where with the uh, cabin was. Now I gotta show you all these pictures because for one thing, we were just out at that fireplace where he's at now when we were looking at the rocks. Here he is sweeping up the floor in here. Here he is riding horses with the Beatles. And I'm going to show you that sign, that sign right over his head. They still have that. So he really loved this place like it was home. Here he's out riding horses. Sitting on a log pile. And then out here standing on one of his rocks. I wish people would love everybody else the way they love me. It would be a better world. Holy cow, I can't believe that I got to see this. Here it says, when Muhammad Ali trained in this gym, his workouts were always open to the public for free. In that spirit, there's no charge to tour the camp. Yet Muhammad Ali was also fond of saying that once retired from boxing, he wanted to use his fame and notoriety to help those less fortunate and to make the world a better place. In that spirit, if you enjoy your visit and have found it educational, please consider a donation. I think that's absolutely fair. And he even made his own donations. So I was asking who painted 
the rocks. I was wondering if maybe there was a crazy notion that he did. And they said, actually, his dad. Because <laughs> his dad was a billboard painter. So we saw Ali, the pictures inside of him in front of there. Now check this out. We also saw a picture of him on top of that log pile. They've thought of everything. Now this was the kitchen. We're gonna go in there next. Oh wow, nothing fancy at all. Nothing fancy at all, really. I love that they have Wheaties here <laughs> with him on them. And Gatorade, of course. There's the stove and everything you would have prepared the meal. And then a monstrous dinner table. Look at the pattern on there. How great is that? <laughs> now there's Ali eating in here with the kitchen rules above his head. Oh yeah, they thought of that too. Number one, please to keep out except on express permission of cook. Two, cook shall designate pot scour peelers scrapers and Cook has supreme authority at all times. <laughs> no remarks at all will be tolerated concerning the blackening of toast, the weakness of soup, or the strength of the garlic stew. Number four, what goes in stews and soups is nobody's damn business. Number five, if you must stick your finger in something, stick it in the garbage disposal. <laughs> Number six, don't criticize the coffee. You may be old and weak yourself someday. Number seven, anyone Bringing guests in for dinner without prior notice will be awarded with thwax on the skull with sharp objects. <laughs> Number eight, please wait. Rome wasn't burnt in a day and it takes a while to burn the roast. Number nine, if you must pinch something in this kitchen, pinchy the cook. Ten, this is my kitchen. If you don't believe it, start something. <laughs> That's great. Very cool. They have a whole photo album here of pictures from the fighters camp. Even books about it. Yeah, you definitely want to come take this tour. They'll give you a full tour with a guide and everything here. And then here's a picture of the cook in the kitchen. See her over there to the right? Ali's basketball hoop even. Now we're heading over to the chalet. Oh, wow. So this would have been basically like his hangout. Living quarters, family, not living quarters, he would have slept in the other one, but entertaining guests to the camp. There's even an upstairs. And look, there's a photo of him and the family at the doorway. We just came in. Now they decorated the walls with a handwritten poem enlarged that he wrote here at the camp that they found here at the camp. Let's see what's upstairs, just out of curiosity. We've kind of seen everything in here. Oh, just another room up here, basically. I didn't know if they would have any of it decorated or anything, you know, memorabilia or anything. Nothing yet. See, that's where the family photo was. You can even see the light right above the door or right beside the door. I can't believe we're getting to experience this. And I really, I honestly can't believe that it's free. <laughs> In the spirit of Muhammad Ali, I think that's amazing. I'm just surprised. I actually bought a sweatshirt from them for $35 to help support with that logo on it. Now, the mosque. Remember that picture we saw of Ali right here outside that mosque inside? Now you know, or most of you should know, he was Muslim, so that requires multiple prayers a day. So this would have been a very important part of his life. And there is where he used to pray, right there where that prayer rug is. 
They even have a picture you'll see of him praying roughly right there because you can see the windowsill right here. It should have been right here in the middle. His Quran. And then that picture we saw out in front of here. But also, right here you can see there's a picture in the middle of there. This shows him praying. He would have been right here in that picture. You can see the two windows. Looks like actually they turned that into a half window, but that's where it would have been. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. We've seen just about everything. There are some more cabins on the grounds, but that was for people that worked for them and people training up here. Wow, what a tour. So you see right outside the mosque, there are three more cabins. And then some more up the hill. Now I mentioned we saw a photo of Muhammad Ali with the robe right in front of this sign. And I said they still had the sign, there it is. Then we're gonna walk up here towards the cabins because they made a plaque up here to Ali. Actually, I see a couple. One right here. And then just up the hill from that cabin is this amazing plaque. Can't beat this one. Well, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure. It was very, very amazing for me. A real piece of history to see. Thank you all for watching. If it's your first time, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hit the like button. For future videos, we will see you next time. Have a great night, and goodbye.